Howdy folks, this is Jackers back again with another episode of our Fallout in New Vegas Let's Play, this time with episode uh, 120, I do believe, and we are here in the Ultralux, looking for a rancher's son, I believe. Veronica and Checkers the Courier just kind of hanging out here in the corner. And uh, yeah, I will turn it over now to Checkers the Courier. Yeah. All right, so what is the plan again? It's been a while. Beyond the beef, we'll find a sponsor. Well, we tried, sponsor's dead. Drug the wine, we'd have to find wine to drug. Get rid of the cook, well, maybe in the kitchen. Find a way to access the members only section. Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. All right, well. Did we ever see the members only section? I, I vaguely think I remember something like that. Let me see if I can... White Glove Society members only section. Hotel rooms. Alright, so that's where we found the investigator and we probably passed that. I mean, it seems that the territories are about to blow up. Yeah, you just, uh, you know, carry on there. So here's what I'm thinking. We could probably ice Mortimer here because the, the fellow we met was real afraid of Mortimer for some reason. Where's this go? Locked door easy. All right, let's give it a whirl, see where it goes. You know, I'm getting real kind of unhappy that karma is bugging me for opening a closet I didn't take nothing out of. All right, let's press the space-time key. There is something we could try, since I'm kind of already in the mode here. We don't do this very much in in New Vegas. You know, I guess the lack of a tail and all. Anyway, I digress. But maybe, just maybe, we could pickpocket Mortimer. What do we got here? Uh, freezer key, kitchen key, penthouse key, take all, and back up and he didn't notice a thing. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's press the space-time key once more. Come on over here. I think that's what Marjorie, right? Marjorie. All right, no, no, no. The uh, members only is the other way. Now, one other thing I think I recall them saying was that they have our weapons in the vault. There looks like there's only one fella. I don't know how good stealth boys are. I don't know if this is worth trying. Huh. Well, I guess it's always good to press the space-time key. If we're going to give it a whirl, though, let's maybe... I think I can be a bit sneakier than uh, a shiny McPower armor here. Veronica... Should have brought something to read. Yeah, well, you know, study the carpet. All right. Let's get on over here. And if we're going to try and sneak in there, let's... Oh, Stealth Boy, right there. Perfect. Oh, I thought maybe Mortimer's key would crack that open, but no. All right, let's see how far we can get in here. Safe here has got a 9mm, 13 round, 6 bottle cap. Some cases will take those. Pre war money. Karma is lost. There's a locker here. Binoculars, Christine COS. This is definitely mine. Alright, let's take all that. Back off. I don't know what the duration is on the Stealth Boy. Or what's remaining on it. Stealth Boy. 
Where are you? Boy, I really don't know. You know what? What did we pick up? We've got Christine's COS, got Elijah's layer, the Q35 matter modulator. We've got weapons enough to deal with things. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's not press our luck on the stealth boy and the guard. Let's do that. Press the space time key one more time. All right, let's grab Veronica. Um, Veronica, hey, come on, let's go. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. I know, that pattern on the carpet is just so colorful. It's just as excited as colored chalk. All right, now. I warned you. That's old, uh, what do they call them things? Those, uh comedy TV serial things about some family was like never aging for centuries and anyway I digress it's something about the colored chalk being too exciting for children and whatnot all right anyway um well we're still hidden are we still we're even still stealth boy so what wait a minute did we or did we not lift keys from what is it miscellaneous maybe me oh wait no no I saw the key ring down at the bottom there key ring white it's gonna be under W right ultra no ultra lux oh I guess Freezer, kitchen, and penthouse. I guess this isn't any of those. Well, learn something new. Well, plus there's that red rope, and you know, there's just no way to get past those. I mean, seriously, a lot of them TV serials that they just wrap their ship or their castle or whatever with that red rope, nobody could have ever gotten in. All right, well. Penthouse, we could go look, but we'd just lose karma for no apparent reason. No wonder I'm neutral. Everything I do is pert near evil. Well, if we can't go that way, we need to get into, like, the kitchen. All right, I will never underestimate a stealth boy again. This thing is epic. All right, back in here. We can be less um, stealthy, I suppose. Just walk to about here. Get down into sneaky mode, press the space time key, and there it goes. Alright, so pressing that space time key once more. And well I guess let's just uh fire off another stealth boy. I mean I think I remember now what I wanted him for, which is if I ever need to end uh everything, including Mr. House, I can do that right quick. For now, though, this should be enough. Oh, we didn't even have to pick a lock or nothing. I keep forgetting what keys I have and what keys I don't. Oh, but you know what we do have? Because we got a little adventurous. Is that? Another fella didn't even seem to notice. I wouldn't even have noticed there was another fella if it weren't for the close-up. It's time for your close-up. Alright, well... I break into a closet, no bad karma. These guys are just assuming cooking, but well, whatever. Take what you can get. Six drain flamer fuel tanks, a flamer, flamer fuel, White Glove Member Society. Or sorry, White Glove Society Member Key. I think we already have some of their duds. I guess we could pick up a flamer. We've got 38, 3900 fuel for them. Maybe we can make one good one. Uh, more drain flamer fuel, some more regular flamer fuel, and another flamer. 
All right, let's uh, come over here and repair one flamer with the other, just in case, you know, we need to deal with something. We can fix up a cane with another cane. What else we got in here? Got our good old police pistol. Got our silence 22, which is just still ever so wonderful, pressing the space time key, but with Christine's COS, kind of would be fun if Veronica recognized the rifle too. Elevator to the kitchen. No, let's go on foot. Slide right on down here. Press that space time key again. Well, there's someone. Oh, look at that. His tummy must have been a rumbling right before he hit the ground dead. All right, let's peek around this way. Elevator to the kitchen. So this would have brought us just down here. Yeah, that would be an interesting option. You know, if we'd have known beforehand. At least we'd have been sure nobody was behind us. Inaccessible door. An accessible door. Of course, everything is thieving here. Pre-war book, sunset. All right, we don't need the health back or nothing, so we can leave the sunsets. Pressing the space time key, I'm just feeling edgy for some reason. Um, I think we found the wine room. There's a restroom, clearing, looks like our stealth boy wore off. Let's see, a couple stem packs, we'll take those. Uh, sure, empty syringe, leave the dirty water, lose some karma, right? Yeah, of course. What are we looking at? Just out of curiosity. How do we tell that again? What is it? General, perks, no general, maybe it's this? Neutral. True mortal. I am a true mortal. Well, at least I'm true. All right. Examine wine. All right, don't need to climb up on the desk, none. These wines are set to be taken by servers out to the banquet. Medicine of 25 or higher and medics required to drug the wine. Oh sure, spike their wine. Alright, well, there's a kitchen. Don't seem to be any lights on over the important area, so I'm guessing nobody's using it. There's the fella who uh, had some issues walking down the hall. Alright, pressing the space time key. Easy, easy. Oh! Salad's gonna taste a little funny tonight. All right. Let's put this down for a second. Get something maybe a little better at close up. Mm. Oh, the layer really can't beat that close up. Philippe, oh, this is the cook. We've got a freezer key, but we already got that. Philippe's recipes. Can we read those? A note, huh? Let's see. Data. Miscellaneous. Philippe's recipes. This is a stack of handwritten recipes, obviously experimental, with many sections crossed out and notes scribbled in the margins. The one that seems to have gone through the most revisions is called Sweet Veal, however. The notes indicate a desire to make it taste not like veal, but human flesh. All right, well... Oh, I guess you didn't make it over here to the uh, first aid kit there. Philippe? Come here, Philippe. Why don't we get you out of the obvious, you know, body position here? Maybe, hopefully this is a closet. We'll take a look before somebody comes in here and catches us. With a slightly broken... Uh, no, I don't want to search him. I want, want to open the door. Come on, Philippe. You're going to love it in here. 
Look, you've got your very own freezer. Who knows, you may even taste like veal. There you go, just kind of throw that over to the side. and There you go. It's like we work here. Ooh, look at there, absinthe. All right, pressing the space-time key. What is that? What is that? Crunchy mute fruit and the non-crunchy. All right, anyway, let's see. We've got a terminal here. Activate freezer access terminal. Locked very easy. Hmm, all right, well, I guess all the karma gonna be the most evil thing in the strip before I walk out of this building codes two out of five mm, how about wakes look at us go systems unlocked all right let's uh disengage the lock there power down press the space-time key load up for bear here oh 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 wait no no you stay all right no i don't think we want to let this fellow run loose um why can't i move is the more important question ah the door door's tricky all right yeah this guy's gonna be a problem Hey, you know what? You should come over here. Come here, Sunshine. We need to talk to you. It's it's real important. Mole rat meat. Well, he's not the... Hmm. Alright, well, for better or worse, who is it? Ted is out. Alright, let's see what we got around here. Is Ted gonna... Ted, if you move out of this room, we're going to have a problem. I shouldn't have unlocked the thing. Hey, Ted. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can you know, see it for miles. Is that right? You know what, Ted? We need to kind of... Veronica, you could help me with this, you know. It's not against the, like... Howdy. Brotherhood rules. Yeah, howdy there, Ted. Have you seen the inside of that freezer? It is just to die for. No, no, Ted. Not that way, Ted. We need you to kind of... We need to corral you. Your father's a rancher, right? You understand that. Your cattle, that's the corral. Trying not to shoot Ted because he's making this more difficult. Trying super hard. Probably should put this down before I fail. There's a good boy, Ted. No, no, you turned around again. All right, Ted, we're, we're working this out. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, no, 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 Ted. No, not, no, Ted. Look, Ted, I need you. I know you don't believe me, but I need you back over there. Close that. And then... All right, finally. All right, Veronica, you stay here and keep an eye on him. Should have brought something to read. Yeah, well, you know, there's cans or labels or tiles or something, tea leaves, whatever works for you. All right, let's uh, go back to something sneakier. The Good Silence 22. What is this one? Pantry access terminal. What does this do? Oh, we could just lock it. So is this a hall? No, this is just... Just food. Alright. Let's close that so I don't confuse myself. Cook. Everything necessary to cook a meal is here at your disposal. As long as Philippe isn't there to stop you. Well, I don't think he's ever going to stop anything again. Except maybe a drain or two. Survival is 75 or higher, required to improvise a meal using no recipe, but we have one. So, an intelligence of 6 or higher, and a recipe required to cook the following recipe. Cook imitation human flesh using a recipe. Did I succeed? Maybe I did. Alright, now what? 
Use the intercom to call the head waiter. How may I assist? Um. Time. Well, I guess uh, the wine's ready to be brought out. But no one is in their chairs yet. Surely we should wait until seven when the dinner guests arrive. I'll be ready when you need me. Oh, heavy sigh. What time is it? Midnight 24. Oh, goody. Hey, look at that, though. It's uh, the eve of Christmas Eve. All right, well. Aren't they just going to have a special dinner for the holidays? Now, I'm pressing the space-time key, so we need to wait. Uh, 12.29 a.m., so that's... Seven hours plus another 12. No, no, let's go six. So 18. 18 hours, you figure. And wait. All right, press the space time key again. Um. 18.30, so 6.30. She's hanging out there. How much of a stickler is he going to be about this? How may I ask? The wine is ready. But no one is in the I'll be ready. He's going to be quite literal. All right, well. How much time did that eat up? A six whole minute. So you know what? Maybe we'll just kind of speed this up just a touch. Just, just for you. I'll have to live through it, though. Alrighty, let's give this a whirl, pressing the space time key. So what we'll do here, I don't know if we should do both or one or what. How may I assist? Um, the wine is ready to be brought out. Right away. Alright, let's, let's get out of the way here. Close that up. I don't know that he's coming over here. And if he does, we should probably... Oh, let's remodulate his matter. Let's see if we can see anybody moving. Oh, well, it looks like we can. Looks like he's going over to the circular round, the, the wine room. Alright, let's... Oh, 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 oh. Out we go. Over here. Keeping an eye out. Pressing the space-time key. Steady. Well, he just... Nope, nope. I'm guessing maybe he's picking up the meal too or sweeping up Philippe pressing the space-time key again all right let's try this All right, I have no idea. We can't cook. Can't call. All right, I, I don't know if what option we've gone for. I guess drugging everyone. So let's go ahead and we can just open the door. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Well, I can see how you would think this was a little weird, me locking you back in here and all, but trust me, I had a reason. I don't like you. Now just calm down and we'll get you My out of here. My daddy there. sent you? God you could, damn it. You could say I almost that. died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. It was your mother. No time to explain. We have to go. 
All right, fine. I'm right behind you. Wonderful. I feel better already. Veronica? Aw, just when the standing around was getting... I'm sure. Pressing the space-time key. And you know what? Rather than remodulating one, we should probably be ready to... advance layer anybody we need to. How did we get down here? And how do we... Oh, I wonder if that fellow was walking around this way. I bet he was. You know what? Before we do it, just out of curiosity, I wonder if we could call the waiter. Maybe he was just walking. Nope, it's done borked. All right. There's a one-time use intercom. Up the stairs we go, pressing the space-time key again. Looks like the break room or... What have you? All right. White glove members only section. All right, get down, Ted. What? Oh, I was going to say there's nobody here, but then there's people all over the floor. Looky there. Head waiter's got drugged wine. Look at him go. What's Marjorie carrying? Formal wear, society key, white glove, white glove, white glove. Mortimer. Formal wear and a tuxedo hat. Thanks, Mortimer. I'll be feeling spiffy in no time. All right. Casino floor. All right, let's put this up just in case anybody's feeling frisky. Things are getting stranger every day. You're telling me, sister. All right. Well, this fella didn't abandon his post. Let's get the kid back over here. What happened to you? Wow. All right. Well, I guess the dark side is strong with me. All right. Oh, my God. Ted, are you all right? Quit no, he's coloring. dumb like rocks. Inform, yes, man. You fixed the White Glove Society's cannibal problem. Why? Were they going to eat dead and get sick? I don't think we stopped much. All right, pressing the space-time key. Let's see where this goes. You got me my boy back. Yep. I got no words. I know. Now, I'm sorry. I you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Well... You know, it was Mortimer, one of the white gloves who had Ted taken. Pretty sure he's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. No, no. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Wait, 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 wait. That's just what they want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. I won't. And you know what? Well, look at that. We're liked. Amazing, considering how bad our karma is. Um, yeah, you know, good luck with that. 
I'm gonna go see if Marjorie's alive and I should probably just leave and see if I can get my weapons back considering I uh, liberated some otherwise we'll have to come back and liberate them all I wonder if Mortimer is gonna take his position back you know just kinda without clothing alrighty it's a funny story but you know what we wandered on back here to see if we could go oh you know I don't know talk to Marjorie or something but then then the whole world just collapsed in on us it was Our Rangers well everyone I'd like to say surprising but it really wasn't alright let's press the space-time key here one more time this is where we went down uh oh you like that? What the you hell, coward? No! What have you done? You like no. murderer, murderer? What have you done? Had enough! You like that? You uh, like that? Murderer? What have you done? What have you done? Do me a favor. Make sure they bury me no. in a nice murder. 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 No. Well, they sure got opinions. No. Trouble. You dirty coward. Dirty coward, you kidnapped a kid. Well, that happened. You know, sometimes it's just a little easier to sort it out this way. I just wanted to talk to them. Real pity they decided to get all, you know, upset. Fascinating that I gained karma this way. I imagine they're going to be even more upset with me when I come rolling out here, though. So maybe we should just go talk to this fella, see how upset he feels. Look at that. He wasn't near as upset as I thought he'd be. Checking the safe. Oh, we'll take your rounds, your cap, your cases, your medex, mentats, pre-war money, and rebound. So we got our stuff from there. Right, this was probably Veronica's. All right, I wonder, I'll never remember what's what, but probably better to take it than to leave it here. All right, that's good. There's some pre-war money. We'll grab that in the safe. We left a pistol, but that's about it. Hey, Veronica, come on over here. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Well, I'm, I'm giving you back some things I think you were carrying originally, like this displacer glove. Have a dress cane. It'll look real fancy. Golden gloves, hunting rifle, laser RCW, laser rifle. Um, Recompense of the Fallen, a Super Sledge, and a Thermic Lance. There. Now you're all fancy. And I've lost karma again. And it seems the White Glove Society, I know this is heartbreaking, but is upset with me. Well, they don't seem unfriendly, so I'll press the space-time key and we'll see how this goes. Trouble. I guess he changed his mind. You can see by how it's rolling on the floor. Uh -oh. Anyone else changing their mind? Uh -oh. Who are they shooting at? Are they shooting at us or no? They're shooting at white gloves. Come on. Well, you know what? Why don't we just leave Heck and his guards to have some fun here? Come on. Had enough? 
they look like they're having a good old time. All right, well, I guess these guys felt left out. All right, you know, now I'd say the White Glove Society is dealt with. And we'll see if we survive this. Looky there, we're outside. Of course, there was no one to give us our weapons, but we didn't really need their help, did we? All righty. Well, hopefully we didn't lose nothing. I would like to say thank you so much for joining Veronica and I and all the friendly, friendly folks at the Ultralux on this here uh, journey. And uh, try to get a nice view for you. We hope you found it entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. Now, I know that that other checkers fell and all of us really would like to invite you to think of something that you're truly grateful for. Something that brings you joy. Just like a stepping out of the Ultralux or saying farewell to the Sierra Madre for the last time. And, uh... I know that other Checkers fellow would definitely like to tell you that he is so grateful that you allow us to share some of your time and that you bring us joy and we hope you know that. Most of all though, we would like to ask you to please, please take care. <laughs>